Testing, testing. Mic levels, mic levels. What we sound like out there, we good? Oh, see you everyone, how y'all doing? Richmond VA in the building. All right, loud and clear, good. I see you, Richmond. You doing great? You doing great, Miss Pearly? That's excellent news. Crystal clear. All right, that's cool, that's cool, let's get it. Chicago in the building. West Point, Mississippi in the house. Charlotte, North Carolina in the house. Come on, y'all, turn it up. Texas in the building. Tennessee in the building. Virginia in the house. North Carolina in the house. Fort Worth, Texas in the house. Shelby, Mississippi in the house. St. Louis in the building. Alabama in the house. What up? Houston, Texas in the building. H Time. Los Angeles in the building. Uh, New Jersey in the house. Michigan in the house. Atlanta in the house. Brooklyn in the house. Uh, Griffin GA in the house. Uh, where we at? Fort Myers, Florida in the house. Missouri in the building. Dallas, Texas in the building. Richmond VA in the building. Fort Wayne, Indiana in the house. East Atlanta, Georgia in the building. Ohio in the building. Philly in the building. OCO, OCO. Rochester, New York in the building. Syracuse, New York in the building. Trenton, New Jersey in the building. Memphis Teen in the building. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> All right, don't get lost out there. <laughs> uh, what's that, Lufkin, Texas? Sawfoot, VA? Bradford, Illinois, Lafayette, Louisiana, Bridgeport, Connecticut, Detroit, Bronx, New York, Dallas, Texas, Oklahoma City, Cincinnati, Chattanooga, Tennessee, yeah man, Delaware in the building, Buffalo, New York in the building, Louisiana in the building. More Freesboro, Tennessee. Mooresville, North Carolina. East Oakland, Cali in the building. Las Vegas in the building. Oseo Baba Rasson, how are you? Oseo Choctaw, Montana, what's going on? Oseo Ricky Cherry. Uh, I think I saw one of my sisters in here. I believe uh, DJ Divine Raz is in the, uh, in the building right now, too. Let me drop a bomb for y'all. Uh, what's going on? Lena Murdoch, what's going on, Chicago? Jamila Wan, Philadelphia in the building, I see you. Christopher Irons, what's that? Cleveland, Ohio, OCO. Uh, courageously beautiful. What's going on, sis? Hold up. Let me see. Empress Vicky in the building. Oco. Oco. Doc Moon Goddess. What's going on? Harlem in the building. Detroit in the building. Huntington, West Virginia in the building. Wow. What's up, West Virginia? Southampton, VA in the building. Alabama in the building. Greensboro, North Carolina in the building. Gary, Indiana in the building. Jennifer Green, thank you for becoming a member. And uh, Raza Niji, I appreciate that dono, brother. Dropping the bomb for you right now. I appreciate that. Dot Moon God has been a member for four months. Everything all good? It's all good. Oh yeah, Chicago, uh, Sean, what's up? Lee County, Florida in the building. Shelby too. 
Usko on on. Harlem St. Nick Projects. <laughs> he put that thing out there. South America in the building. What's going on, South America? Amanda, I appreciate that. Gifting the one sub right there. I appreciate that. Thank you, Amanda. 209 in the building. Lone Star State. What up, Texas? Keep it pushing, brother, already. That's absolute. Jewel Letter, thank you for becoming a member. Baton Rouge in the building. 05, OKC in the building. 804 in the building. That's South Carolina, ain't it? Brooklyn in the house. 208, Ohio. I mean, wait. Idaho. <laughs> I said Ohio. I was like, wait a minute. What did I say? Mississippi, Las Vegas. 814 in the, in, the, in the building. I see Yay area in the building. 708, 914. Look at y'all doing the area codes now. In different area codes. Never mind. Let me not. <laughs> That's not the appropriate. <laughs> oh. Fayetteville, North Carolina, 910. That's Miami in the building. Now y'all doing the area codes? <laughs> uh, hold up. Hold. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Hold on. Let's start from the top. All right. So 216 903 409 314 uh, 405. Y'all get lazy or be not typing it in, huh? <laughs> 410. <laughs> 707. 601. 757. 662. 770. 510. 614. 717. 248. 828. 347. That's messed up. Y'all <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, 904. You can at least tell me that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, hold up. Uh, uh, Fair, Fairfield, 707. Galveston County, 409. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida, 904. Pittsburgh was 142. Philly, 12, I mean, 215. And then uh, Cashville one, I mean six one five. Look, y'all, these numbers. Four two Nola, five zero two Nola, uh, seven seven three Chicago, uh, four one five. See, I ain't even get a chance to see what that one was. All right, hold up. Oakland five one zero, and then, hey, hold on, <laughs> this thing moving so quick. Hold on, all right, hold on. 267 Philadelphia, right? Chicago 708. Man, hold up. And then it jumped right away. Uh, uh hold up. I right, go back to <laughs> go back to the city and state, y'all. <laughs> I, I can't catch up with that with the numbers. Uh Ray, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. 702 Las Vegas. I gotta have it set up where my moderators can slow it down for me. I think there's a there's a way where I could do it and it, it should be able to slow down because it was moving too quick. I um Nadine, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Alright, so where we at? Georgia in the house, Kansas City, Missouri in the house, Miami Gardens in the house. See what I'm saying? Gary, Indiana in the building, San Antonio, Texas in the building, B more in the building. Alexandria, Virginia in the building. That's close to home. Shout out to you. Eastern Shore VA. What's going on? Naptown in the building. Minneapolis in the building. Potomac, Michigan in the building. Yeah, what up, Shot Town? I see y'all deep in here. Uh, who that? Uh, Copper Road, USA. Buffalo, New York. Uh, Massachusetts. Nash. Texas in the building. 
San Diego in the building, Oakland, Cali in the building, Woodville, Mississippi in the building, Cleveland, Ohio, Georgia, Springville, I mean Valley, Spring Valley, uh, Dallas in the building, Cashville, Tennessee in the building, Boston, Massachusetts in the building, uh, Rockville, Illinois, y'all see <laughs> this thing going on, Bobville, VA, oh man, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, all right, Houston, Texas, Antarctica. Stop playing. <laughs> but we'll shout out to Antarctica. Mississippi, Barbados. What's up, Barbados? North Mississippi, Houston, Texas, San Diego, Delaware, Chi-Town, uh, Nijiville. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me switch these screens real quick. Kentucky in the building. What's up? Rally, North Carolina. What's going on? London, England. I see you. OCO, free thinkers. You're now tuned into the realest historian on the planet. Planet. His brother. He is raising some serious. Questions. He's here to make you think. What I'm trying to do is get our people to understand that we have been lied to all the way around about our history. history. Can you name any other group of people, no matter their skin complexion, that are being labeled primarily as the name of two continents? Not two countries, two continents. It's up. It's up. That is called a misnomer which is the act of applying a wrong name to some person or thing. The best teacher you wish you had in school. Have your pens and paper handy and get ready to take notes. Get ready to take notes. I want y'all to, to check out notes. somebody like Dane down. Calloway. Dane Calloway? Look, at, look into Dane Calloway. He has a lot of information about how this whole shit was told in reverse. Okay, where they say, oh, we came from Africa over here. No, a lot of us was already here. And information that was put together by a man by the name of Dane Calloway, who is also questioning the slave trade. And he's done some remarkable videos on the history of the slave trade in the United States. And he's gone back down the food chain and gone back down the line. And he's realized that a lot of the so-called African-Americans in the United States are not African at all. They're actually Native Americans because the slave Life trade did not happen the way we were told that it happened. It's Dane Calloway. Go and watch this man's channel, man. This dude is phenomenal. I'm not saying African American because they're not African American. They're the Aboriginals because they were the, they were the true Native Americans. Set it on fire, fire. They're the copper color race. Look up Dane Calloway and watch his fucking shows. That man, I mean Dane Calloway on YouTube. Oh my God. I mean he is fucking beyond brilliant. The research he does. Whoo! He goes way deep into this shit. Relax and take notes. It's Dane Calloway on I'm Just Here to Make You Think Radio. 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 Turn it up. Look. Honey gears at the honey gears. They delight to us about this and that. Told us all we from Africa. I mean, fix the curtains, turn it into facts. Hurry your time and then it was not. No goddamn well that trick was capped. My wife and I wrote a book about it. It's a book with knowledge, evidence, and fact. And my other book got some haters shook. Cause it's helping my people take a closer look. Had their backgrounds in the background. Show my people where they post to look. Show my people where they get it from. Where they hit it from. All sorts of angles. When it comes to this research, you must please first. Don't trust strangers. Find out all of your own. That's what I highly recommend and suggest. And if you're looking for us, it's a content about me. I highly recommend you the best. Which is my website at the link you see just across the screen. Don't let it miss you. I make it simple. I double down on that black and white. It's so official. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chalk Talk Montana. Shout out to Sister Chief Calloway for lending her, hold on, for lending her husband, hold on, for lending her loving husband time 
going live back to back as of late. Thank you. Much love. I appreciate that, Montana. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Dropping a bomb for you right now. Tamia, thank you for becoming a member. All right, so, oh, yeah, it's up. It's up. Hold up. Make sure we all together. All right, so, a couple things we're going to get into. You know how we doing. Um, and I want to get into some things where we're talking about actually following up on the last live stream. Um, not the one that I did inside of the 13% community server. Not yet. That's going to come out as a video. Y'all going to see that here shortly. Uh, I'm talking about the last live stream right here on the main channel. And by the way, um, hopefully you all can get <clears throat> the inside of the 13% community server. It is free. The link is in the description or you could um, exclamation point 13 and Nightbot will pop it up for you and you can utilize that link and join with a lot of us. A lot of like minded people are in there. DJ Larry Loud, thank you for gifting the membership. I appreciate that, brother. When people gift memberships, that means that uh, whoever chooses, but you know, first come, first serve, will be able to become a uh, member right away. And I appreciate that. That's 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 love right there. All right, so people were asking me about the Jamie Foxx situation. Let me before I get into the um into the information. Let me address this because the Jamie Foxx situation is getting a little weird. Um, and you know, uh, some reports are coming out stating that he was partially paralyzed and blind. I'm not sure how true that is, you know, but it is, it is kind of weird that, um, his daughter is the only one trying to report, you know, his situation as far as his health is concerned. Uh, let me pull up a picture of Jamie. As far as Jamie is concerned. Now she came up on Instagram first. And she was the first one to say that he's recovering. He got out the hospital and it was kind of weird because we were thinking, all right, cool. He recovering. He good to go. But come to find out he was transferred to a rehabilitation center in Chicago uh, that specializes in people that had a stroke, which is um, still not good. OK, now some of the reports that were coming out was indicating was it yeah, was indicating that Jamie Foxx was blind and partially paralyzed due to him taking uh, the COVID vaccine. Now, this was mandatory, allegedly. I'm not sure how true this is, but he's working on a movie with Cameron Diaz, and they were indicating that he was supposed to have a couple of them done prior to him joining the set of the new movie that they're working on. Now, he didn't, <coughs> excuse me, he didn't want that done. He didn't want that done so. In fact, that he fired four of his close associates that was working with him before he arrived on set. Like it was like an outburst that did get reported. If I'm not mistaken, uh, by TMZ and a couple of other places, you know, the tabloids that report on the celebrities and stuff like that. I saw that and I said, uh Oh, so they are trying to make him do something that he didn't want to do. So it could be the case, <clears throat> but what really what really struck a nerve with me was when her, uh, when his daughter came out and said, I think her name was Karen. I could be wrong about that. I forgot her name, but she came out and indicated that he was, uh, back at home. He left the hospital back at home and he was playing some type of a game. I, I forgot the name of that game, but it was weird because we didn't see any photos of him. We didn't see any video footage. No, nothing came out, you know, from him directly. You know what I mean? It was always her having to speak up and. Her name is Corin. Corin. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, if he was out, yeah, pickleball. That's what they were saying. Oh, pickle. Yeah, whatever that is. Pickleball. So, uh, pocket, whatever. That one, right? I said to myself, okay, if he's out, where's the video footage of that? If he's playing a video, I mean, you know, a game, there should be video evidence of that. It's a little bit eerie to me. It kind of reminds me of the, um, uh, the DeMar Hamlin situation, the guy that was playing football, you know, and all that stuff happened. Everybody saw that on national television where he collapsed and they had to, you know, try to bring him back live, you know, and then all of a sudden 
And, you know, that's a little rocky with me, too. I'm not sure if that's him. You know, I don't know what's going on with that situation. That that one was a little, oof, you know, but of course, that could possibly be, you know, going back towards situations dealing with the jab. A lot of people were indicating even the CDC came out and so, you know, they recognized or acknowledged that a lot of people have been getting sick to the point of immediate death. You know, a lot of situations are happening. I know certain people uh, who are close to me have changed, had strokes. You know, they're not the same. And that's unfortunate, you know, because they took the vax. Now, I was, you know, trying to warn people about this. Like, you, you're you not sure what's going to happen. They didn't test this out. You know, you jump into conclusions really quickly. But people out there are suffering from those type of things. But, you know, Jamie Foxx, going back to him being reportedly forced into doing that, I would have just said, forget it, you know, cut that contract, I, I'm done, I'm up out of there. Why would, he, why would he continue to go alone? Does he need the money? No, because if I'm not mistaken, this June coming up, he has a movie coming out called uh, God is the Bullet. And I was looking at, I saw that trailer about a couple months ago. I said, okay, that's a good movie. And then all of this stuff happened right after that. Um, as far as his health condition. So this is about two months now where we haven't heard from him. Apparently he's in, you know, in rehab <clears throat> for whatever reason. And I'm trying to indicate, but they're leaving it up to the tabloids. They're leaving it up to the vloggers or, st or bloggers or whatever to make their own assumptions. So people are coming out, you know, and stating a whole bunch of things. None of this stuff has been verified, but that leads me to believe that something else is going on. Something very serious is going on. And of course I could, swing in a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna be looking into this and I hope you all too. I hope you all are too, because the family did not deny or agree with what was being reported as far as him being partially paralyzed and blind. They did not deny that. Like, I mean, you would think that they would want to deny that if that's not the truth, but they didn't. And in fact that his daughter disable all of her comments on her Instagram. And I was like, that's weird. Oh, well, maybe, maybe she didn't want to answer any more questions dealing with her family. I understand that. But I mean, you were the one that were providing the information. So they're going to come to you. I mean, you know, they're fans of Jamie and they want to find out what's going on. Hey, since you his daughter, you real close and you checking them out. What's going on? Is this true? But for her to come back and not answer anything, you know what I mean? That's leaving everybody in limbo and have, you know, coming up with more speculations and uh, conspiracies and, you know, just letting them run wild when they could just nip this in the butt real quick, you know, but just her coming out. Look, he's fine. Here it is. This is what's going on. You don't necessarily have to say his uh, mental condition, but I mean, you know, per se, like, but you can say something to, you know, stop all these rumors from spreading if they're rumors. But when you're not coming out stating anything, you know, that's leaving everybody else to make their own determination or speculation rather of what is occurring with Jamie Foxx. But Jamie Foxx's uh, situation happened randomly, you know, that with, uh, with him already uh, completing a different movie that I just talked about, God is the Bullet, that's getting ready to release here in June. I was saying, um, well, so he was working, so it wasn't like he wasn't working. In fact, a lot of his movies that I watched previously, even the one that was exclusively on Netflix, he's been doing really good. You know, he's been, you know, putting a lot of these movies up under his belt and he's been doing very well for himself. So it's not like <clears throat> this next movie that he was doing with Cameron Diaz that he really like that needed to be mandatory for him to do. Not necessarily. He could have skipped that one and kept it moving. But it was just odd that he fired so many people that was close to him, that was reported, that was reportedly happening amongst his, you know, inner circle, randomly. What happened? Okay, what happened? Why, why would you want to get rid of them? So at least one to speculate is because like they like talked them into it. Like, look, this is a good look. Uh, it's Cameron Diaz. This is going to blow up. You blah 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 blah. But um. <clears throat> maybe we'll hear from him soon, you know, maybe we'll hear from him soon and hopefully it's him and not a, you know, clone, hopefully, you know, I mean, we'll see, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, 
I don't know him personally. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that he does recover. If, if this is a real condition to a point where it's like more serious than what people think, I hope he does recover. I hope he's not blind. I hope he's not partially, uh, partially paralyzed. I hope that didn't happen. But we all know for a fact that even outside of, you know, celebrities, a lot of people, a lot of people have suffered from these same conditions after taking that jab. So, you know, that's not a surprise to me, you know, hearing that it, you know, happened to him right after taking it. You know, certain bodies can withstand it and certain bodies can't, you know, or certain bodies can over a period of time and then it could collapse. Things could fall through. But I'm just hoping they're not about to do some funny stuff and clone them and make it like, because when I looked at DeMar Hamlin, I said, I don't look like the same person to me. That that look a little weird, you know, but um, I let it go. I said, okay, I right, got him back. I mean, when he was supposed to been gone, I mean, you talking about miracle. They did God's work <laughs> right there with him. And, you know, I, I was like, okay, because he was gone on the field. And they couldn't bring him back for nine minutes. He should be having a whole rack of health problems right now. But I said, okay, well, if y'all want to say that he back and everything cool, that's on y'all. But to, when I'm hearing from doctors saying, look, if they're going to leave with something abnormal, <laughs> especially not being, not being able to recover the individual after nine minutes. They say they get it starts getting worse after 60 seconds. I'm like, eh, that don't seem right to me. Now he popping up at games and did a couple of interviews. Them interviews was eerie to me. I felt weird looking at the interview that they did with DeMar Hamlin. I said, damn, that don't seem like him. This this seemed like something different here. I mean, am I watching a movie? <laughs> like it, <laughs> that's to me. I said, something ain't right with that, but I just let it go. I said, all right, okay, well, I'm not going to fall for it, but I'm going to just let it, you know, I'm going to let that one slide. But here we go with another situation that's very similar. And um, let's see what they do with this one. Let's see what they do with this one. This is wide open. Now the family is quiet this entire time. And if they didn't want the rumors to spread, they could stop spreading these rumors right now, okay? But... Why be quiet about it? I, you know, we, we, you know that Jamie Foxx is well known, especially within our community. You know, I'm not saying that you owe it to the people, but you should say something about it. Just don't let people speculate and let these little bloggers and everything run wild. Like, stop it. Say, hey, this is what's happening. No, he's not blind. No, he's like partially, uh, partially paralyzed. That's it. It's that simple. But keep it quiet about it and not denying it, you know what I mean, is that's a little off to me. Richard Williams, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for the donation. Yeah, they saying that he was partially paralyzed and blind. That's what, the, that's what, the, what the reports are coming out and saying. I'm not sure how true that is. I'm not sure. But um, hopefully he all right. You know, I don't know the brother, you know, but... I mean, he's done some great movies in the past, you know. Am I a fan? Yeah, I say I'm a fan of his work. You know, I would, when I see a Jamie Foxx movie, I'm like, oh, all right, I'll go watch that one. Because I know he's going to do good work. You know, but that's it. I'm not going to be crying. You know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not attached to the guy like that. You know what I mean? Like when Kobe passed, I was pissed. That's a whole other story. We're not even going to get into that. I think that was set up, but that's going to leave that for the Dane Calloway Unfiltered channel. That video is coming. Be on the lookout. Um, Zero, thank you for becoming a member. CEO Ball Styles in the building. All right, so today's topic, what we're going to be talking about here is going to be, um, hold on, let me bring this over right now. It's going to be um, a follow-up. Technically, in a way, it's going to be a follow up to the last live stream where we were talking about the Negro Wall Street. Now, um, apparently, guys, that video popped back up on my channel. <laughs> that video just so happened to pop back up on my channel. And I, I believe that video was about five or six years old. I forgot how long, how old that video was that I went over. This one is, um, is similar. 
Um, let me pull this up now. We're going to get into this and uh, we're going to be talking about it once I play the video. But this this is an old video. Um, you can tell old logo, old sound. Uh, I mean, of course, my hair is way longer than this now. So uh, we just gonna let this play, okay? Uh, and we gonna get it to this. Hold up, let me mute this music really quick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now I am in downtown Durham, North Carolina. Downtown Durham, North Carolina. Very, very, very historical landmark here, um, in which I'm gonna tap into in a lot further detail. But I Let's just go. want to show you guys, I'm probably going to have footage rolling of some things that I captured, video and photographs of some different type of landmarks that is here. Um, that is. All right, hold on, hold on. Y'all see how tall that building is, right? I got to mention this, right? Around the corner from here, it was a building even taller than that one. I have never seen something so tall in my life. And if I'm not mistaken, they were renovating it to become a parking lot i thought to myself i will i won't ever park my car up that high <laughs> like y'all says if you derm derm get in the chat y'all know what i'm talking about that sky high parking lot makes no sense i understand that y'all don't have parking you know really downtown like that but these skyscraper buildings for parking you are out of your mind, Derm. Okay? I'm not doing that. I'm not afraid of heights, but I'm just saying, just say some wind come past. Maybe a tornado. God forbid. Nah, that's not happening. All right, we moving on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Of some things that I captured, video, and Look at that building. Of some different type of landmarks that is here. Ain't he not um, finished? That is a reference to certain things that happened at this particular location. Uh, but coming back here, I'm going to let you know that this is the initial starting point where uh, indigenous Aborigines began entrepreneurship. Okay, now I know uh, if you haven't already, some of you have watched my documentary on the Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, Black Wall Street, which was considered the Negro Wall Street at that time. But this one was the very first one they were inspired by what happened here. And of course, that one was called the Black Wall Street. But just to turn around so you can see that I am here. And I'm probably going to be reading this all so you guys can see it. I'm probably going to be putting a picture up or some video. I'm going to read this off. And I'm definitely going to be getting to. Uh, further detail that's how uh, i used to look particular topic because this needs to be known to keep in mind like i said everything that happened in tulsa oklahoma was inspired by what happened here <clears throat> not the same thing happened as far as you know the burning it up and everything tearing it down very, I'm, I'm referring to the bombing and stuff in like tulsa, that oklahoma even though they have rebuilt it because of certain particular grants stuff did hold on uh, that were given in which i'm going to go hold into on. stuff get a lot of stuff did get tore down and Durham, but it wasn't bombed like how they, you know, what happened in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. But there is something very specific I'm gonna get into that did happen in Durham in order for this to stop. Into a later documentary as well. They did get a chance to rebuild um, Tulsa. And this was torn Tulsa down right as well. As you can see, I'm probably gonna be rolling footage that this looks totally different from how uh, it initially was, of course, during the time period time rolls on. Um, but yeah, a lot of things have changed. A lot of buildings have changed, but a couple of different landmarks are still here. Uh, a couple of different banks are here. I appreciate you, Miss Parker. Thank you, Miss Parker. See, that's how it used to look. That same street right there. That's how it used to look. Now, also, there's... Uh, a lot of white people here. A lot of white people here. Now. Um, this was initially ours, like all Aboriginal, all indigenous <laughs> Aboriginal of color, of, like how you see of color with me. We're all down here at one particular point, but now it's uh, like everybody's here. So 
Um, with that being said, I'm just going to jump straight into excuse it. Excuse the noise because I'm right on the street. Excuse the noise. I do go. I end up going back in the truck. So I just want to quickly read off what this sign says and exact. Uh, go over the exact details of what this sign actually means in full detail because I'm not too sure if this was told or not or if anybody knows this. Um, this is definitely a fact here that needs to be given as far as our history um, concerning the indigenous aborigines. Now on this particular sign, as you can see, Keep in mind, this is my logo to my channel, by the way. If nobody recognized that, the picture to my channel right now is this one. This was going to say North Carolina. Oh, when I was out here. Hopefully you can see that North Carolina. Listen to all that noise on the street. Office of Archives in History in 2004. So in 2004. So National Car I mean, excuse me, North Carolina Office of Archives and History in 2004 when this historic market this was made. Was, um, initially put up that there was one that happened before 2004 I'm probably going to put it up right now uh, but and I it can, wasn't I'll tell you for a fact minus the fact that it says African Americans everything else is accurate yeah they put uh, the term African Americans on this historic marker but I'm going to read it off in the early decades of the 1900s Durham acquired national reputation for entrepreneurship businesses owned by African Americans lined Paris Street among them were NC Mutual Life Insurance Company, moved to Paris in 1906, led by John Merrick, Dr. Aaron Moore, Keep in mind, 1906, Spartan, and Mechanics and Farmers Bank in 1907, led by R.B. Fitzgerald and W.G. Pearson. Now, directly above me, I'm probably going to walk forward so you can see what I'm talking about. If you could really look upward, directly behind me, you're going to see uh, the farmers right there. That's the bank. And it's still here. Everything now, else. Now, when I was there, it was still there. At least this one was. Mechanics of Farmers Bank. I'm not sure if it's still there or not, but that's basically the last one. Okay? But it was owned by us. It was uh, That needs to be known. These banks were owned by us. These brothers got together and went ham in Durham, North Carolina. But that's what sparked off all the Negro Wall Streets. They, they, this was the first one, but even before Tulsa, Oklahoma, Durham, North Carolina set it off. And everybody saw Durham prospering. And they, you know, went, keep in mind, 1906. Okay, 1906. <laughs> yeah, it's one on Chapel Hill Boulevard. That's why I showed Chapel Hill Boulevard in the beginning to show you where I was located. Those of you in Durham, North Carolina know what's going on. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. So I'm just saying, remember, they set us free, allegedly. They stopped slavery in 1865, allegedly. And 40 years later, we became millionaires? Or were we already millionaires? 40 years is just one generation. I'm just saying. Put two and two together. But those of you in Durham, North Carolina, correct me if, you know, correct me. Is this still here? Is this the one that started it off? I hope it's still there, and I hope it's still owned by our people. Because I know the, the, a lot of the other banks got uh, bought out by the Rothschilds. I'm not sure if they got bought out. Uh, it was the Rothschilds and um, Carnegie was trying to take all the rest of those banks. And they did. And I believe this was the last one. Uh, that they didn't get. I'm not sure if it's still there, though. It is really brand new to me. I can't recognize it from the pictures, per se. So a lot of stuff has been changed. Um, definitely going to go into further detail about that. All right, here we go. Well, Durham was a place where blacks were successful down through the years. It just happened that there were some people who got together and started some businesses and with the success that they had here, people came from everywhere just to see what was happening in Durham. That's right. W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington came to Durham. Hold up. You heard what he said. W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington came to Durham. Remember, they came to talk. They came to all of them. They were the spies. Both of them were the spies. I went over this before. Um, I know I don't have to go over it again, but they were the spies. They were the traitors. They were the infiltrators. They were the ones that were sent by the government to look like you and I, okay, 
to be nosy about what we were doing. Okay, remember the uh, the term Negro Wall Street was coined by Booker T. Washington. That's where that came from. Uh, Black Wall Street or Negro Wall Street is what it was originally called. Came from Booker T. Washington. He coined that. But once they reported all of this stuff that was happening, they sent it back to the government. The government made up excuses to start tearing things down. And this is not just in North Carolina and not just in Oklahoma. It was multiple areas where we had thriving communities of our own. This is what we need to get back to. This is another reason why I'm showing this one right now. It's not as violent as it was during the last live stream dealing with um, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. But I just want you to see that, yes, we had it. We were up. OK, we were so far up that they were begging us to come back down here and work with them. We had it all. So they had to make up some plans in order to implement urban Redevelopment. I'm going to get into that in this video. Hold on. Let me back up a little bit. Businesses and with the success that they had here, people came from everywhere just to see what was happening in Durham. W.E.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington came to Durham and saw what was happening here and called it a mecca of black business. And the Black Wall Street name came from these efforts. And we had uh, guides at the North Carolina Mutual, tour guides. Look at that. Mechanics and Farmers Bank at North, at North Carolina Central University. Man, just and imagine, just, just imagine, y'all, we do this again. Yeah, we got the barbershops. That's easy. But just imagine that we get this. Cities, towns, we could do this again. This is what we, when people ask me, Dane, what, we sh what should we do? This. <laughs> right here this this is what we should do this is what we should get back to right here the real i spy thank you for becoming a member renee uh wansley thank you for becoming a member and rev dr 501 thank you for becoming a member and Camorris battle thank you for your donation i appreciate that i appreciate that y'all Miss Parker, thank you again, okay? But yeah, this is what we should get back to. What a lot of people out there was like, well, Dane, uh, you providing a whole bunch of information. Uh, we, 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 that's great. You know, you're a great researcher, but what should we do? I'm telling you what we should do. At the same time, providing you the information. Get back to this. Well, we owned everything. Top to bottom. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. This is where we were prospering. This is the make america great again era for us we already made ourselves great in america we I remember i told you in another video that we were the main capitalists of this society because the other the whites were poor even the incoming foreigners don't forget that they had to get loans from the government in order to stay afloat and confiscation of our lands in order for them to reside in our territories. We were the main capitalists of this society and they knew it. Trista Hunter, thank you for becoming a member. This is what we need to get back to. We will dominate them right now. How Dane? Well, first of all, we outnumber them. We outnumber them. See the mental state has to change for our people in order to get on this note right here. The mental state, the knowing in your mind that we can make this happen again, knowing in your mind that we can make this happen again. Don't be afraid of what the government may do. Make them be afraid of what we do. Because without them, it will be no us. So, excuse me, I meant to say that vice versa. Without us, it will be no them. So if we separate ourselves from them right now, it will be no them. We, we, cause we don't need them. We didn't need them to build up these communities right here. And this was, this was happening in every state where we resided. 
where we were predominant. I'm talking about every state. So when they lie and say that we didn't lift ourselves by our own bootstraps, we're going to get into that too. My, my wife and I, that's a new video coming. We're getting into that. Be on the lookout for that. Lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. Look out for that. That's some information that you are, are not familiar with because we weren't familiar with it neither. You're going to see what that means. I'm going to show you that. My wife and I are about to watch. Be on the lookout for that. Um, this is possible. This is not an imaginary thing. When we can literally see that it happened before and the way technology is right now, the way we're going right now as far as our direction is concerned, we could revamp everything. We can tell them no, stop. With the Fed now, we don't need that. We could create our own currency. Okay? We could create our own cities and towns. They cannot stop us from doing this, y'all. I had videos out on the channel showing you legally that we could get this done right now. And they can't say nothing about it. They can't. Now, a lot of you was like, well, dang, we're going to need a military. We got that already. <laughs> we got that already. Dang, we need our own police officers. We got that already. We really do. Just pull the people that we know of from joining in or enlisting themselves in their stuff and say, all right, we got our own here. Enlist in this one. It's that simple. No, 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 no. Don't go to that military. Go to this one. No, no, no. Don't go to that police department. Go to this one. No, 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 no. Don't let them feed you right now. Feed yourself with our own currency. And we could be fed now. Okay? Within our own communities. It's that simple. It's that simple because if they came in and which they did, and I'm going to get into this, they came in with urban redevelopment, which was urban removal, urban renewal, gentrification. And they did that everywhere, forcing people up top. I mean, uh, up north. And some of the people stayed down south. Those that stayed down south, lost their businesses, lost their, you know, their, their wealth. That's not fair, but we could get all of that back by restarting. There's nothing wrong with restarting, pushing these foreigners out, keeping our people in. Because the foreigners got help from the government. We don't. We're begging the government to give us help. They're not going to do it, y'all. Straight up. So let that go. Let it go. We could do this on our own. We have the funds to do it right now. No, we don't. Dang. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. If we pull the plug right now, from supporting every other foreigner that we support right now, their economy will be in shambles. They would not be able to survive out here. They will be forced to go somewhere else where somebody will pay for their products and goods. If we simply say, no, we're not doing business with you. We're only doing business with our own people. Every single one of our communities economically will skyrocket. It's that simple. It's that simple. This is what we need to get back to. So regardless, if I tell you you're Aboriginal or if I tell you American Indian or if I tell you Niji, okay, and other people say Hebrew Israelite, other people say Moors, other people say Muslims, other people say Christians, none of that matters. Let me tell you right now, that part does not matter when it comes to, com I'm talking about completely putting our communities together and doing a hard reset on everything and taking control more even more control than what we did in the past so we could leave our leave those religious beliefs to the side leave your you know personal beliefs aside and i'm, I'm talking about you ain't even got to bring up your tribal affiliations right now because that's not what this is about it's about all of us coming together as one unifying for real and getting this done for real because that's what counts that's what's going to count generationally as well we could prevent a lot of stuff that's happening to our people right now by coming together and saying okay we're going to stop all of that happening right now here's how we're going to do it all right we're going to get this hospital right there that police station right there that barbershop right there that salon right there that movie theater right there 
All right, and we're going to build up businesses, other type of businesses, make sure we got farms over there. You understand what I'm saying? All right, we're going to have our own fleet of uh, trains, our own fleet of buses, our own fleet of cars. We could get this stuff done now. There's no stopping it. They can't stop it. But, dang, how do we get the land? I mean, didn't they? I mean, I, I know I know. in certain cases, the government gave them land. They allotted them land for free. That's not going to happen for us, so why not buy it? I'm just saying, just buy it. I understand, you know, y'all want to go to the union. I mean, uh, uh, United Nations and fight and go to the United States court and fight. And year after year after year, you're wasting your time. They're not listening to you. You know, now, now, in certain cases, the majority of cases, rather, a lot of your ancestors owned lands. Some of them were confiscated for many different reasons. Now, that is land that is owed to you that you shouldn't be paying for. That's a different topic. That's something different. But as far as building up cities and towns right now, literally, buy it. Buy it up. Why not? Buy it up. Now, since the economy is in shambles right now, they, ra they raised up the value of the dollar bill purposely in order for, you know, the economy to crash. So let's stop buying stuff right now. All right, well, I mean, since it's cheaper... Let's be real. Since it's cheaper, I mean, this is the reason why you saw a price hike. And keep in mind, anything that goes up got to come down. So we can buy it up as soon as it come down. I'm telling you, it's people in the background waiting for things to come down. Housing is going to come down. Mark my word. Housing, cars, all, all of this stuff is going to come down that we're going to need. Okay, prices of land. This is going to come down. Eventually eventually they're not trying to say that we're in a recession stage you know they're not trying to say that we're in a reset stage but technically we are and this is where we could disassociate ourselves from them from the foreigners and do it for ourselves there's no way in the world that we can't get this done it's nothing stopping us right now take the money that we have take the funds that we have pool it together and start buying it up left and right and capitalizing on it Okay, and do it the same way that our ancestors did as the main capitalists back then, but do it more strategically to the point where it cannot be infiltrated by outsiders, even that look like you and I. Smarten up with, it, you know, a lot more things as far as security is concerned, and we could get this done. Another thing that could support our businesses are unions. Create your own unions. Okay, this is something that, you know, behind the scenes, we've been talking about getting some things done. That's a need. That's a strong need. There's also a strong need in many other areas when it comes to businesses. A lot of people are out there, believe it or not, have no idea how to start a business, have no idea how to upkeep a business and the benefits that comes with owning a business. There's people out there that have no idea as far as the uh, benefits coming with trust, how to maintain the trust. Our, our ancestors had these things back then, by the way, y'all. So it's nothing wrong with teaching it right now so we can hurry up and get some things done. Regardless of this page in the Bible and that, that page in the Quran, oh, here go a verse. I'm a, I'm, nah, hold up. No, we talking about some important stuff that we need right now. Now, I know we're going to need personal things as far as spirituality is concerned to keep us afloat mentally. I understand that. But I'm talking about generational wealth now amongst our communities. I'm talking about generational wealth, and the only way that's going to work is if we come together collectively on one accord, on the same page, and get this stuff done. Anybody else that don't want to see that, they can hurry up and find their way to the exit and make sure the door don't hit them on the way out. That's what this is about. So, yes, you can still get back your lands that's owed to your family members individually. That's the individual cases. But if we come together and pool our funds together right now as a collective and buy up these cities and towns right now, we could do a lot more than you think we can. As far as progression is concerned amongst our communities. This is a beaut. I want to see this again. I don't want to see, look, I'm going to tell you right now, I want to see this again, where it's our people out there owning everything. I want to see this again in my lifetime. 
I do. I want to see this. I want to witness this. I want to be able to go from store to store to store and see the owner looking like me. I want to be able to just hand them money just because they there and say, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having the balls to stand up for your people. I want to see this. It can happen. Believe in yourself. This can happen if you believe in yourself. That's what it's going to take first. All right. Wall Street name came from these efforts. And we had uh, guides at the North Carolina Mutual, tour guides at the Mechanics and Farmers Bank at North Carolina Central University and other places around town just to show what was happening here that was different from what was happening in other communities. The, the business leadership was very important. That's it right. It made a tremendous contribution. And I, I can remember when I was looking for work and, and right out of college, there was, there was a limited number of jobs that blacks could get other than waiters, elevator operators, ma uh, maintenance people, and cooks. And uh, when we came to Durham, we found that there were blacks sitting at typewriters, handling money, uh, operating businesses, and doing many trade uh, jobs that were not common in most communities. And this made a big impact upon the black community that caused us to become uh, famous here in Durham. And one of the things that made us want to come to Durham to see what was happening and how it was happening and how we could carry it back to other communities and do the same thing. That's right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, now I'm back in the truck um, because of the fact that uh, you're still gonna be seeing me rolling footage of stuff that I gathered um, as I'm talking because there's a lot of different things that I wanna cover um, that is not being put out there to the public that should be known. And yeah, it was getting crowded during that particular time period. So I just kept the footage rolling and I just eliminated me talking during that particular part because there's too much, too much noise going on over there. I was directly off of the street, Perry Street. So, um, so yeah, without further ado, let me jump right into it. What happened? What happened? Why is there no longer Black Wall Street? Why is there no longer the Mecca of entrepreneurship for our people? Why? Well, it's called Research Triangle Park. Research Triangle Park is the landmark uh, for large corporations, whereas Black Wall Street had well over 200 black owned businesses. Research Triangle Park has well over 200 large corporations, such as IBM, the technology giant, CDC, the Center of Disease Control, uh, GlaxoSmithKline, which is the global uh, medicine developer, uh, medicine, they create medicine, vaccines, uh, and other healthcare products. Ericsson's, which is they're the largest supplier for mobile systems in the world. USDA. USDA, of course, you are familiar with them dealing with food, but they also deal with nutrition and rural developments. And Fidelity, which is the banking guru. Now, that's just to name a few. I, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, Dane, why does that matter? I mean, they put Research Triangle Park right there because it's the center of three universities, right? Now, let me answer that question by stating according to this map <laughs> that I'm about to post right now. This is a map of Durham. Look at this map. It's clearly marked where you can see where the Negro or rather the colored people are. And you can also see where the whites, the white people are located, their homes and businesses. So with all that being said, 
what happened was Highway 147 was created. Highway 147 ran directly through 200 miles of colored of colored people's homes and businesses. I was trying to calm down. I was they upset. They did this under the guise of urban renewal. Urban renewal is used to displace people of color and increase segregation of color communities in order to destroy businesses and force people of color and force all of them into public housing and welfare. In other words, their real intent was to remove the independency and to eliminate self-sufficiency see of thriving and prosperous people of color native aborigines us that's why we're not there okay this also causes people of color to see a black capital for the world to see did i do an easter egg on this the one cent the penny yeah, no, I did a video on this, right? Notice how they utilize the uh, the penny uh, to represent us. You know, of course, that's copper. And then, you know, that was on the other side, Abraham Lincoln. I think I did a video on this already. Seek government assistance, uh, you know, seeking to gain a balance. This hurts me to my soul stating this. Hold on, which video, Ricky? This video, this is on the channel. You did a video on it, not an Easter egg. Okay, okay, Levante and OCO Levante, how you? They took it down? Nah, this video should be up. This this video should be up. Lincoln, yeah, was on the copper coin. Yeah, I have a. I, okay, you can't see it. Um, let me let me check that. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna go check and see if they took it down because this is one of my older videos. They took down a lot of my older videos. I'm going back to look again. Okay. Okay. Because, all right, let me explain something. <clears throat> the last live stream, I indicated that they took down my, um, my video on the Negro Wall Street, in which they did, and I triple checked. And as soon as I mentioned that during the live stream, it ended up popping back up that same night on my channel, out of the blue. Out of the blue. And I screenshotted to you all, the channel members, and those of you on the 13% community server, I showed you all the screenshot of that email that I received where they were talking about um, videos were disappearing, but they working on it now. Out the blue, that same day. No, 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 that next day, I received that email. So, you know, hope I, I didn't, you know, if that video's gone, let me know. Yeah, you saw it, okay, all right, it, it gotta be there now. So maybe the majority of my older stuff will pop back up now. After I mentioned it, all of a sudden it pops back up. So whatever, you know what I mean? We gonna keep it pushing regardless. That's why I did live streams on it because I didn't see it. All right, hold up. No, seeking, but this one, this one about the penny, I reposted just recently. You're gonna see Abraham Lincoln as the picture, but the, my my video uh, that I did on the one set coin. So that should be there. That should be recent. This was very recent, like maybe three months ago. Maybe, yeah, maybe three months ago. Was it that long ago? Could have been two months ago. Gain a balance. All right, hold on. Let me, let me go this back a little bit. color to seek government assistance. Uh, you know, seeking to gain a balance. This hurts me to my soul stating this. Okay. Because uh, simultaneously, this also reestablishes white supremacy systematically. Okay, see? This is what was used to remove the power of black businesses. This is what was used. The North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company, Mechanics and Farms Bank and Mutual Building and Loan Association in North Carolina College were model financial and educational institutions 
devoted to entrepreneurship and self-help in Durham, 1910, 1945. This is incorrect. 1906 is when you should, this should be 1906. I don't know why they got 1910. This should be 1906 to 1945. But uh, I mean, excuse me, 1907. This should be 1907 to 1945. But whatever. But just notice how they use that copper coin, the one cent coin, as a representation of this. These are new landmarks that was posted then. Um, I, I believe this video was conducted on in 2017. I believe I did this video in 2017. Notice how my hair is cut short. So this had to be in 2017. But that right there is incorrect. That should be 1907 to 1945. In fact, it should be 1907 to 1950. But I mean, I mean, roundabout. Okay, roundabout. I'm gonna come back and say it. This is what was used to remove the power of black businesses. This is what was used to remove Black Wall Street. Now, this may be one of the first places where this occurred. But I'm pretty sure if you take a look around your own neighborhood, you're going to see some examples of urban renewal. Okay? Also known as urban redevelopment. redevelopment. Yeah. So without further ado, you know what I got to do. All right. So that's what I started giving the shout outs to the people. All right. So hold on. Let me come back um, to, hold on. Where is it at? Right here. Now, this particular map, um, the, Nor the Durham, North Carolina map, I still have all of this just in case you all need that. Uh, for research purposes, I have everything that I did. Um, but I, I wanted you to see how they ran that interstate through this particular community because they ended up doing uh, these interstates in all of the states, in all of the states as well. They ran, they ran in, I mean, literally dynamited particular areas where we had our businesses located as far as black wall streets located literally dynamited those areas brought them down in order to run interstates through them and mushed us to the inner cities okay that's not a joke that actually happened yes redlining now i went over redlining in a video of mine called the gentrification of Asheville, north carolina that video is no longer on my channel. That's on my um, website. I'm just here to make you think.com. The reason why is because I interviewed people within that area and I believe YouTube had an issue with certain things that were being displayed on there. So I had to put that, I revamped it and put that into documentary format on side of my, on, on my website. But I went into gentrification a lot deeper uh, urban removal, urban renewal, gentrification, and redlining a lot deeper in that uh, documentary that's located on the website. Uh, eventually, that's about to get pushed over to Netflix and Hulu, so be on the lookout for that. You'll see that. I'm just dropping the bomb. Because <laughs> we about to put this information out there that they, want, they don't want to put out there. You know, they don't want that stuff to be known to our people. But yes, I, I even showed you the communities. I even went through the um, so-called projects and showed you what they were doing to the projects. And I also showed you how they had those towers right next to the projects to manipulate the people's minds that were right. I'm talking about right next to them. I'm not kidding. They were literally right beside these towers, manipulating the mindsets using the frequencies that they utilize to manipulate people's minds right next to them. They don't care if the people would die. And on top of that is open carry. So everybody had a pistol. So when I came through, I was about four. I, I think I was like three or four trucks deep. Okay. And luckily I had some family members with me because the people inside of these projects was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, you know, who was this? And I hop out the car. They see it's a brother. You know, they calm down and I explain my situation. I said, look, I want to, um, I'm going to be interviewing the people out here who are 80 years old and up for a documentary that I'm working on, right? They like, all right, cool. So you ain't out here selling no drugs? I said, nah, even though I look like a president just coming through, we ain't out here to sell no drugs. Y'all good to go. I ain't stepping on nobody's toes. Y'all want pictures? I got pictures of it with everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, shout out to my family in North Carolina. I told y'all I got family in North Carolina. 
But uh, we made that happen. So if you want to take a look at that, I wish I could play that right now. But they're going to have an issue with certain things that I play on there. Um, that's a good one. That's a very, very good one. Uh, I interviewed some beautiful people down there that, you know, they're, of course, they're elders. And they went through uh, the story of what happened uh, with them being business owners and very, very wealthy to straight up poor overnight. Living in poverty overnight. And that's not fair. Okay. And keep in mind, that's just in North Carolina. Now I started doing a tour in which, uh, it just so happened. As soon as I started doing that tour, they come, they came out with those COVID stuff and I ain't want to deal with different States saying, you know, their rules and regulations are how they wanted it to go. You got to wear a mask. I wasn't falling for none of that bull crap. So I waited for a minute, but now I'm getting ready to go back on tour because I'm going to be going to different States interviewing the elders in which I can. Hopefully I didn't miss any of them. You know that actually went through the gentrification process and um lost their businesses lost their houses you know hopefully they're still with us because i'm trying to document it all you know i do you know i do give them something just for doing that you know i do reimburse them for their time um if you have some elders that are still around that would love to share their stories that did go through that gentrification process that has lost their businesses uh, and maybe even their, you know, their housing back then and they please reach out to me via DM, uh, in the 13% community server. The link is inside of the, uh, description right now, or you can hit exclamation point 13 exclamation point 13 inside of the live chat right now. And that will pop up. The link will pop up in order for you to join. If you haven't joined already, uh, that will be greatly appreciated. If you want to have your family members on camera, I have no problem with that. Because when I go back on tour, I'm very serious. I'm set up pretty nice. Everything will be rolling. If you don't want to be on camera, you can still be there, but you'll be off camera. I'm going to have it set up that way as well. Because I know it was, you know, some people I did interview, some of them didn't want to be on camera. Now, say, for example, your elders don't want to be on camera, but still allow me to lend their, you know, they want to lend their voice to me. Fine. I'll record it that way. Have it, you know, displayed where it's showing something else that's correlating with the information that they provide to me. And I will still be able to, you know, document that. But I think that will be very helpful to share these stories amongst our people so they can understand what we did have and what happened and how we could get it back and how we could do it again. I think that is very much needed right now, especially at a time like this, where you see things are collapsing around us when we can actually just focus on what's going on right in front of us and make it happen, make a big deal out of what we need to do. Okay. And what should be happening right now so we won't have to go through stuff like this again now i have multiple different maps especially in north carolina i'm gonna tell you that right now of where they did the gentrification um but this keep in mind gentrification was happening everywhere though everywhere and those projects that you see right now that are up are brand spanking new technically because prior to those projects it was labor camps or concentration camps concentrating on one set group of people and making them labor for little to no nothing, you know, to little to no money. And that was happening all the way up until the 1950s. And in some cases, the sixties, in some cases, because my wife's grandmother indicated that she picked cotton, my wife's grandmother and my wife and I are the same age. Kevin Thompson, thank you for your donation, brother. I appreciate that. So in certain cases, you're going to see that that was happening in the 1950s and the 1960s. I'm talking about still happening. Okay. Now, um, but that depends on the situation, but if they were involved in that situation, I would love to get them on camera. You know, I show Southern hospitality as well. I am mean, even though I'm from the East slash South or South slash East, I am from Southeast, but I'm from DC, Minnesota Avenue in the building. I'm going to just drop a bomb. But anyway. I do show love to the people that show love to me and I will come through represent well and I will definitely make sure that they are good you know as far as their you know their take on camera I'm not going to make them look funny if they make mistakes I'm going to cut all those mistakes out I'm not going to make them look foolish okay trust me I got it I'm an I'm a editor and producer and director I make sure everything is good before I put it on screen okay but um if you once again if you would love for that to happen with you please don't hesitate. Utilize that link that you see to join the 13% community server. 
especially those of you that are 60 years old and up come on y'all i know i know it's a lot of people out there that are 60 years old and up that want to get that story out that want to get it off your chest speak up I'm, I'm allowing my platform to be that place where you can speak up i'm going to have a lot of elders on my channel here recently i mean here soon i said here recently here soon okay uh shout out to brother coleman he gonna be the start and and you gonna see how this gonna go okay i'm gonna get a lot of people on screen this time because a lot of stuff needs to be told that hasn't been told okay and then we could work towards these solutions like we normally do but this time turn it up more than 10 notches we need to turn it up all the way i'm talking about enhance this thing to the core and get it up to par keep it up to par lakeisha thank you for becoming a member i appreciate that yes like right now like right now oh yeah southeast dc in the building you already know hold on where my dc term at it's real live out here where's that play it play it wait a minute my stream deck lagging hold up it's coming back Rule life. i don't know why my stream deck was lagging right there let me double check Rule life. all right there it goes it's back it's back i think it's pulling from another drive that's what's going on i got that on another drive okay i'm reloaded chosen for greatness thank you sister i appreciate that i'm dropping the bomb for you armani in the building big up big up big up tell our stories tell our stories through our current elders yes absolutely that's what it's about so they can get it off their chest and the money same thing with you I, I know your elders going like if you if they you know if they ready Amani, i'm ready you know what i mean uh, same thing with you levante i know the situation you know but i'm sure you may have some as well you know let me know y'all let me know if that's you please let me know northwest georgia avenue shout out to northwest dc i see you Charlotte, North Carolina in the building. Yes. Absolutely. But, um. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, you good, Choctaw Montana. Look, that don't. See, I mean, don't worry about it, brother. Like, if that's not, you know, I mean, they still here with us. They still our ancestors. You know what I mean? They, they still doing their part regardless. Even if they not here in the physical, they definitely here in the spiritual, which is still technically the physical. We need them inside and now. You understand what I'm saying? I got lucky with capturing my um elders before they passed, but they my elders are gone now. You know what I mean? But um, those of you that still got your, your elders with you, please, you know, don't hesitate. We're gonna get there. Me and my team will get there, and I will get them on camera. I don't care where you at. I'ma tell you that right now. I don't care where you at. We pulling up. I need them on camera. And um and we, we could get these stories out so we can make some things happen for real and that's not fair that they gotta you know hold those stories in for all that time and listen i don't even want to get it to it because it gets me upset but i want them to get that stuff out um but those maps another thing i wanted to see the legacy of community and institutional connections so a lot of some of the churches the ame churches or the baptist churches were involved some of them not a lot some of them with donating putting up funds, getting loans, getting involved and in building banks. So that's why I don't turn my nose up to pastors and ministers and stuff like that. I know with some of them out there that are utilizing that money that they gather from the community that they built for themselves. They pocketed themselves. Okay. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about them that gather up that money from the community that they make and put it back towards the community. This is what I'm talking about right here. These are the type of pastors and ministers that I will big up. You understand what I'm saying? And since 1898, White Rock, listen to that time period. Since 1898, White Rock Baptist Church, St. Joseph AME Church, Sanford L. Warren Library, Lincoln Hospital, John Avery Boys and Girls Club, North Carolina College, and Durham Public Schools are all connected historically to black businesses on Prayer Street as beneficiaries of leadership vision and means we need to get back to this right here you see how you see how serious my face is this is how serious we need to get back to <laughs> we need to get back to this part right here but um yeah man i hope y'all enjoyed this one you know i'm going to be doing more of this probably i'm pro it's probably not going to be tomorrow it's probably going to be tuesday 
It should have been earlier today. I apologize. I was a little late getting back up in here. But um, it will be earlier. It would be 6 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Okay. I love y'all. Oh, and also the uh, be looking out for the live stream that I'm going to do on the Dane Calloway podcast channel. Because I'm going to be inviting you all up. I believe that's tomorrow. I don't have the schedule. I'm not. I think that's tomorrow because tomorrow Monday, right? I believe that's tomorrow. I believe so. But that's going to be announced on the 13% community server. And it will be announced on uh, Patreon and um, and the YouTube channel uh, community tab and the YouTube community tab. That will be announced. So be on the lookout for that freight train. Awesome. I appreciate that, brother or sister. I appreciate that family. How about that? I appreciate that. And I look like I, I missed somebody right here. Abbas, Abbas lifestyle. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Get her done. I appreciate that. Hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. They don't get on me if I mispronounce it. And up. Uh, okay, I appreciate that. Shout out to the big chief, Dane Calloway. Thank you for your donation, brother. Yeah, get those likes up. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see the likes. If the likes low, turn them up. Turn them up. Let more people be able to see this live stream. This is how we go do it. We continuously sharing the information and getting towards the solutions. That's what this is about. It's about us. It's up, y'all. It's up. Niggas need to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Where we at with it? Hey, look. Ain't no chucking, no jiving, no ducking, no hiding, no telling on people that's under assignment. Those are them people that fucked up our climate. Changing up everything so you can't find it. Let's focus our people to focus our people. Cause most of our people lose hope for our people. We choking the fan by revoking my people. We selling the fan, not promoting my people. You woke up today, it'd be different tomorrow. Stop all the follow with Lee Leonardo. Police kill an innocent like a state motto. How much more time we gon' take this to sorrow? How many times we go marching for peace? We still got black people that die in the streets. From the your brothers or racist police. Least the wars, none us is them racist elite. Brother, wake up, sister, wake up. These this ain't nothing but shit they made up. Religion is here to manipulate minds. Only books slave masters gave us to read. Only books slave masters gave us to teach. Only books slave masters gave us to preach. Only books slave masters gave us some peace. What they have heaven here on earth. Wake up, pick your cape up, pick your face up. This is shake up, no time for makeup. Injustice is a white supremacy. You both affect the melanated people too much. I'ma keep raising my fist to the sky. I'ma keep raising my fist to the sky this ain't for everybody this is only for them conscious melanated people ah. yes sir wait wrong page but i appreciate you all thank you for all for coming out and i'm gonna see you next week here coming actually this is the new week so be on the lookout for the more you know more new stuff on the way and we're gonna go into the old stuff too and talk over it and you know do what we do talk about it I appreciate that. Yes, the album is coming soon in between the new releases of the books. I'm just saying, it's coming. It's coming. Y'all been asking for all educational content. That's all I'm going to do. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all take care. What up? I'm just here to make you think.